Thank you for joining me for Cold Counter. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to stop feeding Rengar in my ranked games. So when it comes to cold countering a champion, we first need to identify what makes him so difficult to play against. Uh, for Rengar, he draws this from one primary category, his damage. It really, it really is just his damage. Rengar isn't really made out of any reliable gap closers with the exception of his ultimate. And while he can gap close from bushes, those are easily avoided, so it's really just his damage. He has obscene burst. Now Rengar will be building primarily one of two ways, either A, lethality, or B, a mix of lethality and crit. Some common items he might pick up if he's building crit would be uh, Phantom, Dancer, Static, Shiv, and of course the quintessential crit item, Infinity Edge. So when it comes to itemizations, there are the standard items you can get. Of course, don't forget your Zhanyas if you're AP or an AP tank and you think you could benefit from it. There's nothing more awkward than a Rengar that comes leaping out of nowhere to murder you, and then he has Zhanyas for 2.5 seconds while your team guts him like a pig. But, in the event that you're not AP, don't worry, there's still some great items you can pick up. First, GA fabulous item. You let him kill you, and then while you're being revived, your team kills him. This will force him to play carefully around you. Uh, another one is Steric's Gage. If you can't afford GA or you feel you need to go the extra mile and get Steric's Gage and GA. And if all else fails, a Thornmail is a great way to block any AD Assassin. Now if he's building crit, or there's crit on the enemy team that you want to try and avoid, um, but also want some defense against Rengar, Randuin's Omen is great too. You can use the active to make sure that Rengar can't run away easily after he jumps in on top of you and realizes he can't kill you. Now if the Rengar is building a lot of crit, it'll be twice as important for him to always land on his marked target. So when he ults, the target nearest him gets marked. If he leaps on that target, he has one guaranteed critical strike, which is why buying Infinity Edge can be a good thing. However, if Rengar is building crit, then that makes the counterplay there twice as good because you can stand between the, the vital target and the Rengar to reduce his damage output uh, by removing that guaranteed crit. Don't forget to save your exhaust or critical defensive abilities until after he's already dove in on you and committed to the fight. He doesn't have a lot of escapes, so if he comes right in on you, you can Zanyas or you can exhaust him and burst him down as quickly as possible. Now he does have a CC immunity uh, if he builds it up, uh, because if he's got four charges of his passive, his W will provide him with brief CC immunity. Now normally he's not going to have the time or the damage to worry about this, but if he's fed, you should seriously consider him using this to get back out, because he very well might do it. A few more things worth noting about Rengar is that once he reaches level 6, he'll be able to reach mid lane from, from anywhere in his jungle in 10 seconds or less. So always assume that he's going to be near nearby and don't take any unnecessary risks. If you see him in top lane, you can afford to go a little ham in bot lane, and if you see him in bot lane, you can afford to go a little ham in top lane. But if you're mid lane, no matter where he is, he's going to be able to reach you in 10 seconds or less, no matter where he is in the jungle. Keep that in mind because it is a constant pressure on that lane. So let's talk quick about a couple of champions that really, really make Rengar sad inside. Uh, uh, the first and most obvious choice is Kale. Kale hard counters any assassin. He dives in on the target, whoop, three seconds of invulnerability, I guess you just simply don't get to die today. She's just fantastic, and her sustained DPS is something that Rengar always needs to fear when he's diving into the enemy team, because if he doesn't kill his target, he's going to be stuck there for a while, and if he's stuck there, he's going to be taking a lot of damage, and even if he can successfully kill whoever he's going after, he's still going to have to contend with Kale. So that is a huge advantage. Vayne is a great counter to Rengar. As soon as Rengar leaps in on her, she can ult, go invisible, kite around him, and uh, force him back, and because he doesn't have any secondary gap closers, unless there's a bush nearby, once she uses her knockback, he won't have any other ways of getting to her. And then lastly, Kindred. Not only is he excellent with kiting, but he also builds a kind of this bruiserish ADC, which is harder for Rengar to deal with than your regular jungler. He can also use his ultimate to save people when Rengar goes in to kill them. So these are just three champions that you can use to your advantage when playing against Rengar. However, I do want to say this, don't pick a champion you don't know how to play, okay? If, if you're decent at these guys, and there's a Rengar in the, on the enemy team that you're worried about, go ahead and take them, but don't pick a champion you have no idea how to play. 
Thank you for watching, and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got suggestions on what you'd like me to do a cold counter on in the future, feel free to let me know. Uh, but in the meantime, Merry Christmas, and you guys have an awesome day out on the rift.